All right. I am live. So for anyone that cares, my goal is to finish off this dragon tonight. And so here he is in all of his glory. So what I did is for the top is I, this is the pocket where my arm goes in, uh, in the top here. And I just pinned in the, the foam just so it sits there nicely. Um, yeah, that way things don't move around on me. And then the, we're basically going to do the same kind of a pocket idea on the chest. And so we want the chest to kind of hold its shape a little bit. So we make the, we're going to be making the patch a little bit uh, smaller than before. It looks like Avis. Hello to whoever is watching. Um, anyway, so the, the patch is going to be about yay big. Maybe a little bit smaller. It's going to be out of uh, half inch foam. I'm going to try and find some of that laying around because I'm just going to use up spare stuff. Cover it with this same orange and uh, in theory, that should be done fairly quick. And then I'm debating on creating like those skin, whatever, with uh, the neck there. So when he jangles his neck, he kind of creates a little bit of that that extra movement, just so it looks kind of cool. So, in a nutshell, this is this is him. So we're gonna try it. So. Whoever's watching, hello. All right, so I need some half inch foam, which I see some, I think, over here. Okay, that's big enough. Nope. I hope I have enough half inch foam. We should. It's not that big of a piece I need. I mean, otherwise, I'll just trim up. Something that doesn't matter. But... I thought, oh, I have some good. That should do her right there. So, right, who should I be listening to while I do this? Who's live? Let's click on the live tab. Oh, we got Law and Lumber, Geeks and Gamers post show. Uh, foul ball, rageaholic, play nightmare. Nah. I don't want any Halloween things. Hello, Panda. Hope you're doing well. All right, who should I be listening to? I got Radix. Radix? Radix. Is that how you say it? I don't know. All right, we'll see what she's talking about. Apparently I can't hear her, and I don't know why. Everything was working on my headphones. Now things aren't working on my headphones. Now I have to plug them in, plug them out. Let's see what happens. Let's try this. Maybe it just need to be reset for some reason. Okay. It's reconnected. There we go. Now I got my headphones in. Okay. Trim. Okay. Scissors. Not those ones. Thank you, Panda. I've been working hard on it. There's the other scissor. Okay.
No wonder what that means. Okay, right here. That sticks out a little extra, so that's good. All right. Um, what I'm going to do first, got to turn on this hot glue gun. All right, so you can see what I'm doing down here. I shall move the beverage here and the mouse here. And I'm just gonna do this. That looks too much <laughs> like what I don't want it to look like. Four people watching. Awesome. If you're watching this and something else, I am not offended. You don't have to be watching just me at all. I'm listening to Radix. Radix? I don't even know how you say it. Either way, you guys should all spam her and be like, hey, you should talk to Floral from under a rock. Okay, so I just want the chest to kind of have like the pectoral look. And so we're going to try that. If it looks like crap, I guess I'll make something else up. Oh, hey, culture. I'm surprised you're not in bed doing, uh, or at least doing Florida things. Hmm. Culture knows the puppet man. I mean, we never met in person, but we've talked. Do you know the puppet man? The puppet man. You are so amazing. How am I amazing? The dragons are pretty amazing. All right, here we go. But thank you, Squeaka. All right. Here we go. Okay. So here we go. We're going to trim that up. So basically what I'm trying to do is just create some uh, pectorals for the dragon, which right now do not look like pectorals, but we'll, we'll see what we need to do to fix that. So the dragon's going to go on its tummy like so, and then we're going to just see how that sits. So it's going to kind of rest like that, I guess, I guess. 
but the because part of the reason why I want the pectoral look is just because I want something to kind of create like a natural look right in here for the break. I guess if it gets tucked in there, that looks okay. That's not too much boobage though. <laughs> looks like the end's little boobs. And it's not a girl dragon. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna trim that up. Make that a little bit lower. So who's all in Florida right now at the Orlando meetup? What he's for using, you may be getting a lecture. I'm totally using uh, hot glue. Um, is that the lecture you're looking for? Or are you talking about what I use contact cement? Boggle sis dad stairs watching world series. Boggle boggle sis does that is a darn fine looking puppet dude. Thank you, Salty. Yeah, so I'm pretty pretty pleased with how it's coming out. The big thing is, again, I don't want this to look like boobs. Biggles. Biggles. All right. Well, hey, if you want to jump on and talk, I'm I'm up for that too. Whoever wants to jump on and talk, I'm up for that. If you're just sitting there and you're like, yeah, I don't mind talking. I'll I'll send someone a link. All right. And then I can get that lecture from your culture. I don't mind a lecture. Okay. I was afraid barge with no respirator. Oh, yeah. No, I don't use barge. I use just uh, LePage contact cement, so it's not super strong. Barge is so expensive. So not, not worth the barge. All right. But no, I've heard stories about people with barge. But at the same time, like, whatever. I figure just... If I eat all only candy, I take off all those years of old age and heart decay, and if I, uh, or tooth decay, and if I uh, use a respirator, no respirator, I just take off all those years of, of lung problems when I'm old. No, but for something like this, I'm just gonna use hot glue because if something happens to it, I don't want to care. All right, here we go. So we're gonna. Put the hot glue in the definition spots, and then I'm gonna go flap. You're not really gonna see it too good through the. I guess you gotta see some of the definition there. Yeah, I'm just going to do something here. Do, 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 do. Pause that. I'm starting to get distracted. All right. Cool. So no longer listening to other people. We are going to see how this looks with a little bit of a test. So. Every time my wife sees this dragon and she sees me working on it, she's like, you, you look like a, a veterinarian. That's true. Yeah, see, that's kind of what I was going for there. Got to trim up a little bit. 
but you kind of see the the details there and gotta just solidify it because it's all folding in on itself so the way we're going to solidify it folks is with this rubber gasket because i want it to be able to bend and uh be able to move around and so I, but i don't want it to be too big i just want it to be big enough that uh it holds its place. So I shall click like so. And then I will cut it out. Okay. Scissors, where did I put two? Where did I put my scissors? For cutting random crap. Alright, do you guys see them on that angle? No. Oh, if I have to cut the rubber gasket, I will with my fabric scissors. Or I'll just use this. That'll work. Just use a razor blade. Razor blade. It's not working. How long is that working? That's working. Wolf and down egg rolls. What kind of egg rolls? shrimp in them. Did you get them from the actual Chinese place? Where did you get them from, Salty? The people need to know. Oh. I break so many rules when I'm doing all this stuff for people. So if you're like, follow Steve for how to do things safely. If you think that ever, you're an idiot. All right, I'm just going to cut it. Oh, I hate them doing that with these scissors. I just don't know where I put my other ones. And I don't, I'm too tired to look. But at least it's been pre-scored. Pork and chicken. I live large like that. Yeah, you do. Salmonella for the win. Right. Oh, why don't you look at that? I threw it on top. Idiot. Right. I'm going to put these here. This is why you have a tool belt. And you use the tool belt when you're a framer. Same thing when you're building random crap. All right. What do I want to use? Do I want to contact cement this or it's just super glue it? I did super glue last time and I feel like it worked okay. Which means now I have to find my super glue, which is right in front of my face. Gel mm. kind. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go too thick. But I do want even coverage. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? Find my hot girls here. Thank you, bot, for helping me in the algorithm. Oh, 
There's another one. For the algorithm. Okay, okay. So now that's the top. So what I'm going to do is leave a little bit up like that. And then We're leaving a little bit of a lip because this is actually going to be the hinge, that little part there. Someone might be thinking, wow, he's so good. He doesn't actually measure things. And you'd be right. I don't measure things. But to call me good, well, your discretion. Right. Culture, what kind of commercial do you want? by the way, if you're still around. So a bunch of people just left. Maybe you're one of them. Uh. Scissors are up. Hot glue cover is on. Corners here. He must have disappeared. Right. He went to sleep. <laughs> So, for those of you watching, what did you do tonight? Did you go bowling? I went bowling. We took a few students. That was fun. I suck. I suck at bowling. Ideally, a, an 11 to 12 pound bowl, ball would be good with... Uh, pudgy finger sized uh, finger holes and I'd probably be okay. But the question is, do you throw the ball when you bowl? Because I've heard both. Just like use skill, roll it in, overcompensate your, your lack of skill by throwing it <laughs> basically because the just got momentum behind it and it's not going to turn as much, which I don't know how true that is. I'm open. All right. Be the ball. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. All right. Just a thin layer there. Yeah, guys, and if you don't know, Salty, he's got a War of the Worlds thing he's working on. He's throwing a lot of hours into it, so you should make sure when he releases it, I believe on, is it the 30th or the 31st, Salty? I think you put out the actual link for it already, didn't you? Final audio QA in progress. Oh, okay. Link going up tomorrow. Perfect. All right. And we'll make sure to share that. 
I meant to announce it on uh, Wednesday, but then my brain got scattered on everything else. As I know you know what that's like when you're doing your own thing. Oh. Plus, apparently, I think we our family had COVID. That's why we were sick the other day. That's why I was so tired. What is with this hot glue? No. Now that doesn't look as trashy. All right. Okay, cool. I think that'll be good. I could turn off this hot glue gun, at least for now. And then the final fitting to make sure it all goes in nice. things. Hello, Snowdub. Just laying there. <laughs> Kill me. Yes. The voice that I've been kind of thinking for this guy is like a Christopher Lee. And so doing a voice like this for the hobbits. And so I don't know though. All right. So that will sit like so. And then it just gets pinned on the sides, basically, so that I can uh, take it out. We'll go with this needle and we'll go with not that thread. I think it sounds crazy, but I think we'll go with this one. Uh, just don't do any dollar store voice modulator. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't used a voice modulator except for one song. And I can't remember which one that was, but I did it for Nelson because mine, maybe it was terrible day when I did that one. And I just did it for the rat because I couldn't sustain the notes enough. So I just had to sing it like an octave lower and then turn up the pitch. Although the new song that uh, I'm working on for a music video, I do genuinely believe that you guys are going to love it. It is a Wilton original, um, as I've been calling them. It was originally going to be a life lesson all about uh, chicken wings, but it uh, turned into a song. Oh, Panda Power is still kicking around. Awesome. Uh, you're going to be attending the council tomorrow night. I'm hoping I will. I, I've just been, so I don't know if you were here when I said it. Snow I had uh, COVID apparently last week. That's why I was sick. And uh, now, did I get tested for it? No. It's just other people we were around who also got sick, got tested. And so the assumption is that they got it from us. So if I'm not too tired, like today, I got, I was feeling pretty wrecked all right here we go guys so time to ladder stitch it Ugh. 
So again, if you don't know what a ladder stitch is, it's where you're going back and forth on the fabric, just like it's a ladder. And then you pull it tight. And that's what helps hide the seams. Uh, the Henson stitch is slightly different, but ladder stitch is easier. It's essentially, it's the same thing, though. I don't know if you guys can see this, but when I give this a little pull, the seams should somewhat disappear. I mean, this kind of fabric sucks for the ladder stitch. Maybe I'm just doing the stitches too big, but I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. It's the tummy. I can hide it. Kind of. I mean, it's very exposed. So other than the engineering team fired, is there any other new uh, updates taking place on the Twitter front? Um, I heard Trump's account will be back Monday. I thought there was the uh, council that Elon's putting together. Because that actually, uh, when I heard there was the council thing, he, uh, that basically kind of gave me the indication that maybe Elon's not the savior that we all thought he was going to be. question is would trump actually come back though if he was allowed because that would make mean defeat on truth social and can trump ever admit defeat go on the last legs of attaching this part.
Or do I have to go to the right here? Three more stitches. One. If I get one, there we go. Move this because it doesn't need to be there anymore. Two. Go. Pull that out. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, let it go in through here. Pull that tight. And so, the working theory on how this is all going to go is when I'm not using the chest part, it just gets tucked up in there like so, and then my hand goes inside the chest like that. And then you hear the. That too, sounds too much like floral. Um, we need the hobbits to come to get the gold. Mm. Yeah, so anyway, so there's that. That way I can go that way. <clears throat> <laughs> or if I can pull my arm out because it is a little tight it became tight when I put the metal rods in so that <laughs> things didn't move around all right so that'll sit like that. And then we use the safety pins to lock it into place. Actually, I'll just do it like this for now. So then, the, the things that Dragon will do for a mountain of gold turning tricks inside of Rivendell, especially if uh, it was the Rings of Power, this Dragon could get whatever it wanted. No one would know how to fight back. Um, 
Okay. Unpin. Hello, awesome one. Yeah, so anyway, so this top flap will obviously then be able to open up to create the entrance, or I can wiggle it down into in the same way with the chest piece, and then I can go through the top. So this way, if I'm needing to puppeteer them, move the mic up a little bit. All right, so I mean, I don't have any rods on them or anything at the moment, but uh, <laughs> you won't. There's got to be another way from the um, Sean Connery action. <laughs> Why am I doing that? Sean Connery. Ah, yes. We will get there, laddie. We will get there. Mm. Yes. Is that okay? Is my Sean Connery voice uh, acceptable to uh, you plebeians today? See, I, can't, I don't know why I keep going out of that accent. Ugh. But there's, there could be genuine inspiration if you know what I mean. Thumbs up. All right. But anyway, so the plan is on Halloween to walk around with the dragon like this. And uh, that way I could just have fun with them. You can say hi to kids and just like, ksh, ksh. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the wings, they do stretch out to, that's the hardest thing, honestly, is figuring out how I want to do the wings, but that's more for trying to film them. If I want to make them flap, like, am I just going to set up a rig and use, um, whatchamacallit, fishing line. But, I mean, the, the details of the wings, I think, are pretty good. So, going all the way around. So, what do you guys think? Should I try and... Small enough to call him pseudo drinking. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> I think putting some of the reinforcements in was a bad idea. But, otherwise... This just sits on the top like this. So, so far, this is basically him with the chest piece and all that. So, uh, he is, uh, well, for the cutting board, it's 24 inches long. And he goes into the other cutting board halfway. So, he's like 39 inches long. So, he's not small, obviously. You can tell through the length of my arms so i'm pretty pleased with how he's looking here but yeah so the question is though guys do i do like when you picture different dragons you can picture kind of like that chin piece where like if they wiggle their their muzzle like this, the the chin skin down here. I don't know what else to call it. The chin skin, um, where it would connect kind of like in a change the angle. Connect in like a webbing kind of a thing where it just goes like whoop, 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 and then coming back up. So it would connect somewhere right around here. I'm guessing. What do you think? I guess I could mock it out. All right, I guess that's what we're going to do. Okay. We will use this formerly glued piece. Uh, Doddle, like a, yeah, kinda. Might make him look like a turkey. <laughs> Not like a just. A, I don't want it to just be a sack of skin. It's gonna look like I don't know. Um, so 
Let's work with the line that's already here. So it comes in. Come down off the chin like this. Literally something like that. Okay, so we got the pattern-ish. Hello, lovely Sherry. Hello, Tiny Metal Trees. I saw you were called out on someone's live stream the other day. Who was it? I feel like it was on Rumble. Was it Rakeda? All right, so this is... You guys came in at the right time. Needs the pins, needs the pins, needs the pins. Might need to go more forward. This is where you guys come in handy because I literally don't know. So I will. I mean, this doesn't have to be the final pattern, but just gives the general idea. <coughs> general Kenobi. <coughs> All right, let's see how that works. If it kind of creates the visual. That does not create the visual that I'm looking for, which might mean that just it just wouldn't work. What do you guys think? Because then that way you kind of get that extra movement when you shake his head around. All right, so when you're looking head on. Where's the stick? I need a stick. So do we do the... I guess we're calling it a doddle. Do we do the doddle? And have it kind of hang in there. Maybe a half an inch too short. <laughs> the, no, this wouldn't be too short. If anything, I'm already thinking it's too big. But do we want that look? Does it just become too distracting? Dewlap? Is that what you call it? A dewlap? Not a doddle? Like, what I would do is I'd stick some foam in to give it some ridging kind of kind of like what you have on the wing i would do something similar but you guys tell me what do you think popular vote i'll put in up I'll, I'll make a poll that's what we'll do we'll make a poll i'm gonna get blasted in my ear in a second here there we go pool Doddle or no doddle? Oh, a do lap? Oh, okay. So we'll call it a do lap. Where's the do lap? Question mark. Ask your community. Yeah, an iguana, that's it. So we do we give it the iguana look? Ah. 
Yeah, definitely not as nightmarish. No, but I wanted that inspiration. I guess like the Godzilla from 1990s had that same thing. And we look sad laying there. You just see him and he's just laying on the bench throughout the week. <clears throat> All right. If I can get my remote out. Yeah. I think I'm ripping this. That support was just getting in the way. It is now gone. All right. What kind of answer are we at so far? Two votes. 100% yes. All right. Well, I guess that uh, narrows it down. We'll give it uh, two more minutes for some of the... What do we got? Nine other people that are watching? Eight people. No, oh, nine because I joined in. Um... Yeah, all right. So we will wait a few moments. Oh, man. I got a couple messages here on my phone. Should double check them. Nothing important. All right. No news is good news. <clears throat> All right. So what are we at? Doddle or no doddle? Or sorry, do lap? Do lap or no do lap? Three votes, 100%. Okay. For me, that settles it. Move this out of the way. I'm going to make it smaller, though. Like, shorter. Where'd that pin go? Right there. Hello, Mrs. Flu. All right, so we're going to trim this up, make it shorter. I'll trim that right there. Okay. Now I need the foam. I had a piece right here. That's all I was looking for. Don't want these scissors for this. These scissors. And so I'm just going to cut a couple. Well, I guess I'll just cut one long strip and then just cut it shorter. That works too. I don't want to go all the way. I just want it to be the weight to be at the bottom. So, snip. Snip. And snip. There we go. All right. Now to trim these into little circles, kind of tubes. Tubes. And the reason why is because then it looks nicer when you yeah, do all the gluing. It doesn't need to be perfect, obviously, because it's covered by the fabric. And having some natural irregularities in your final design help give it that extra lifelike look because 
Nature is not symmetrical. That's why ripples are fun to look at. Because it's not natural. So guys, we are only like nine people away from 400 subscribers. We don't talk about all the pop culture things. We try to just create here. We make fun of some pop culture things, but we don't, we're just we're actually more trying to create as opposed to make fun of. So obviously it is a harder climb because we're not just getting everyone that's all uh, salty and upset about <laughs> The destruction of their favorite IPs. So feel free to share um, what we're doing. I'm going to turn the other one up just the same way. Because it's a little bit of a different jam that we're in. You don't have to make us famous. Maybe you need to make us infamous. Right. This is so hard trying to cut with these ginormous scissors, but I don't want to wreck my good little fabric scissors. And it's just foam, so I could sharpen them, but still. It's about the, the principle of the matter. I also really don't really want to get into the gaming puppet thing because then I'm going to be tempted to like get more crap and I don't want more crap. Already trying to add all the, <laughs> doing my own music stuff is adding to the, to the pile of things I need. All right, all trimmed up. The junk out of the way. We'll turn this on while we wait. I don't want that on my shirt. Is that an okay size or is that too small? Might be too small. We shall see. Will not fit. Will not fit. It's just too short that way. Robot sucks. Mm, does it suck? Maybe I'll just. I guess it doesn't really hurt. To, uh, maybe it does hurt. I'll draw it out now. there, boom piece there, too long, okay, so that could be trimmed, okay, so I guess if I move this over just a smidgen more, I'm just going to do that, CC karaoke, nice eyes, nice eyes, all right, that's what we'll do. Okay, we're gonna glue on these pieces right now. What's that we got? 1022, I um, can't tell if teeth or joints. So it is part of the dewlap, the neck skin piece. So the teeth are all done. Tongue's done. 
the spikes on the head are done. The bone pieces on the back, fangs, or sorry, claws, the little wing claw. Those are all done. It's, have I picked out a name for smog? No, I have not picked out a name for the dragon. Have you, I can't remember what the name was that you picked out, Sherry. I feel like the name that you had was uh, one of the better ones. But it has eluded me. Larry. That's my father-in-law's name. So, based on that principle, probably won't do it. <laughs> I like my father-in-law. It's not, it's not like a jab against him. It's just, it would evoke the wrong imagery for me. Are, are you hot enough? You are not hot enough. So close. Felt hot enough. It'll probably be ready in like 30, 40 seconds. So someone feel free to ask me something. I'm not going to show you the song yet. Good. <clears throat> Only certain people get the sneak peek into that. Why are you doing a doolap? Just because it would look cool, I think. I mean, before I really, like, actually attach it, we'll look at it first and see how it looks. But I just feel like it'll give it some nice movement. And when you move the neck and it does, I mean, you can kind of see it on my flabby arms, how my skin moves. I, I want something like that for underneath. When, why did you start making puppets? Uh, when it was 2014, when I first made my first one and I wanted to make funny videos for work and then stopped. And then I was like picking it back up actually a year ago. So a year ago, I think is the anniversary or right, right around the anniversary of the YouTube channel. Um, Mrs. Flu, it's a drag, <laughs> is a drag, or it's a dragon. Um, and then I wanted to get on YouTube, and I wanted to talk about things that uh, I couldn't normally just because of my job. And so I was like, instead of having a boring avatar and not showing my face, I want to show something for engagement. And so then I was like, you know what, I can make a puppet. I've done that before. So then I made version 1.0 of floral, which, I mean, if someone wants the purple floral, they can have it. Um, I'm not going to do anything with it. <laughs> so, it's uh, got arm rods and everything. It's, I mean, it's a junk puppet, but it works. So if you want junk floral, you can have them. Um yeah, so he was purple. I envisioned him as green in the first place. And then I ended up just being like, you know, I need to remake him because he sucks. And so then I remade him. And then the channel kind of became what it is now, which is where instead of commenting on pop culture and things that I want to discuss, we talked about... Um, fun stuff or just having fun and that's the goal is just having the fun and doing that and so instead of critiquing content we make content <clears throat> which critiquing content is making content yes i know but i actually want to make content i wanted to make something that would make people have fun and again with a family yeah that's the thing that's kind of been killed the most in the last several years is family content. All right, so I'm gonna th 
think about this for a sec here. I'm going to I think I'm going to glue the edge very slowly and just do it this way. Because I want it to stick. But I also want it to have a little bit of extra weight. And if I use the spray glue like I was originally thinking I would, it's not going to have the weight that I want it to have. Live stream puppets are awesome. I hope it all succeeds. Thank you, CC Karaoke. And actually, some some people ask how um, you make excellent puppets. Thank you, Sherry. Um, this is what I rest my arm on when I'm doing the show. I made my own little couch cushion thing. You either look like Blink-182 or Toby Mac. Really? I've gotten a Shrek. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to cut this here. Man, these scissors are so dull. But they work. Yeah, no one's ever said I look like Toby Mac before. So that's a first. My wife would just laugh. Not Toby. Oh, it's foam in my hair. It's not a giant piece of dander. Um, but I don't think I look like Toby Mac. I don't think I really look like any celebrity, really. You can drop a mad beat. I can, yeah. Actually, the one I used to get told I looked like was Jack Black. That was kind of the common one back in the day. If I was going to get told I looked like a celebrity. A young Jerry Lawler. Who's Jerry Lawler? I'm going to look him up. Jerry Lawler. I guess I could see it. Kinda. My nose is bigger than his, though. <clears throat> Are you on Twitter? I am. Real Wade Nation. How are you doing? My twi Twitter is a lot more opinionated than what I do actually on YouTube. So if you can't handle someone being opinionated, <laughs> don't follow my Twitter. I won't judge you for it. I wouldn't follow my Twitter, probably. I'd be like, wow. You're a jerk. Just trying to plan for my big Tuesday. Oh, what's on your big Tuesday? What are you doing? Those are kind of in there. What I'm going to do is just shove that in there. Dab of glue. That'll hold the rest of that nice and tight. Yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is just because I have to say I don't want it to pop off or pop open as I'm using it. I want it to look good and stay consistent.
how I cheat to add some definition. Look at that, huh? Uh, do you care? I ask because some streamer hate promoting. Oh, I don't care if you promote yourself. So, I mean, so long as I'm, it's not like anything gross. <laughs> I try to keep it PG 13. So, so long as it's within that realm, I don't mind. And part of my goal here is to also like um, kind of promote people, um, give them a chance to have their chance to shine. Um, having the mix of bigger streamers, smaller streamers, right? That's why like I do like having some of those bigger names because then when we have the smaller names come on, the people that are like that would claim to be nobodies, it's like. I wouldn't say you're a nobody. I mean, you've been on the same show as such and such a person and such and such a person. So, like, you're not a nobody. And if I didn't trust you, I wouldn't have you on. So, I'm doing a special stream Tuesday night for Halloween. 60 plus followers celebration. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Advertise away. All right. Let's see. Now that this is actually kind of sorted, I'm going to take a little bit more time simply pinning it to see how it looks. See, and this is when it looks like a, <laughs> a veterinarian clinic. And the other big thing is, Wade, just keep me and you. Because it's going to be the temptation to start saying and doing the things to get the clicks. And, uh, I mean, grift away, right? Like, that's the thing. Okay, I kind of hold the Nick Ricada view on that. Like, grift, grift hard. Make it uh, fun and make it worth it. But don't... Uh, don't become something you're not. And you don't do it at the expense of other people either. Like, don't use people. I mean, you can joke about it. I joke about it all the time. <laughs> um, I make jokes about cloak chasing all the time. But that's not the goal, obviously. Like, I'm just trying to have fun. And I think people get that, because, like, when they see what I'm doing, it's, uh, I'm not doing the same thing as them at all. I'm doing something totally different, <laughs> very clearly. All right. What is that? Dry glue. Gotcha. All right. That's going to be abrasive. So how does that look, guys? Blades like this. Can you see them on the angle? I almost feel like I need to add like that webbing in the, the mouth. All right, so you guys are fans. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I can show you how I did the eyes. It's actually not that hard. It's uh, I was watching a puppet building stream. Get yeah, my arm out. There we go. So it is just. Uh, I mean, you choose what your what your eye to be. All right, and then it's. Uh, I cannot remember at the moment what these things are called, but they're basically like little lenses, kind of. All right, and they sit on, and you would then have your eyes, which I think I used all of those papers, different things. So I'll just draw one. I will draw an eye for you. In the same vein that those ones are. So you got like your kind of your cat eye look. And I'll just use right here. All right, and then literally you just uh, I'm always I I'm always like it before just trying to share it though because before I commented I was working a job then started watching CC etc then I was like maybe I can do it and try it and got me to yeah no, fair enough but anyway so then you attach the I mean what you would do is actually make Mod Podge first and then you attach it on but then because of the way that the lens works, it creates that concave look. So you still see the color of the eye, even though it's at a 50 or 90 degree angle to the camera. Right, so anyway, that's all that is. All right, so with the, with the eyes, I just found a dragon eye on Google Images, made it kind of what I wanted it to be. I finagled with it on Krita, and then that's what we got so all right well laddies we're going to what time are we at 10 40 we're gonna try and uh, attach the otherwise he, he will be done tomorrow that's the cool thing i will be very happy about that we're working on this thing forever oh thread i was using fell on the floor <laughs> okay, now I just got tons of crap up here. <laughs> Don't need any of this anymore. That can be gone. There be the scissors I will look for. Cool thing is, when it comes to doing the Henson stitch and stuff, it doesn't take me anywhere near as long to uh, do it as it used to. So, like, within 10 minutes, I'll be able to have the first part of the flabby neck piece done. Because I have to do it on both sides, obviously. All right. Yeah, we're going to start Looks like a lot of work finishing this. Ten hours. Oh, um, how many hours? No idea. Not a hundred. Probably close to twenty-ish, maybe thirty. If I'm being honest. Okay. I'm just gonna. And that's the thing about like a lot of these kinds of things, right? Like the more you do it, the quicker you get at it. So if I was trying to do this like last year, I wouldn't I, I'd probably be on like you'd probably be at that hundred hour mark, but we're not there anymore. So okay. All right. There we go. All right, let's try it like this. Can it fly? It does have wings. Um, colors remind me of Michelangelo. Yeah. 
I can 100% see that. Or just any of the turtles, if we're going to be honest. Is that what name you're going for there, Sherry? Is that why you said that? Okay, this is going to be really good. Nice. So, all right. If my arm gets in the way, I'm sorry.
no idea what happened there. None whatsoever. <laughs> oh, Barrel got him. Yup. I'm going to move my mouse. I think that's what happened. Sorry. It wasn't the camera unplugged. It was literally the mouse hit. Are you sure you want to leave this page? That's what happened. So if you're still here, thank you. <laughs> if you bailed, I totally understand. They did all leave. That's okay. I'm going to be wrapping up in a minute here anyway. But I got halfway down the, the throat, or more than halfway, so. How long was it out for, Jerry? Because I'm guessing the tail hit the, the mouse, and that's what happened. few minutes really okay well that sucks <laughs> that thought maybe it was only like 40 seconds really I was wrong just so you know I was talking like that entire few minutes assuming that people were paying attention What have you? <laughs> oh, life. How funny that can be. You know what? I might be able to do the other side on the same piece of thread, so I'm going to go for it. Whew. Let's. Do this. doesn't make it all the way at least everyone will have an idea of where this is at and what it's going to look like and i'll just finish it in the morning or in the afternoon whichever either way my son who's one he loves my puppets and he gets just as excited when he sees my puppets, if not more excited when he sees them, than when he sees like 
the Muppets or um, Coco Melon. He's only one, one and a half or so, but he's a lot of fun. He is probably the biggest encouragement, my biggest fan. Because my wife doesn't care. She thinks it's funny what I do, but she's not a fan. She hates Wilton. My wife hates Wilton. Hey, uh, Bromble. It's probably an interesting conversation I'm having a lot. It's kind of like everything I do. It's all conversations I'm having by myself with myself. At least for YouTube. My son is actually growing hair now, by the way. He was like the baldest kid ever for at least the first year. Like by six months, our, our girls could be in ponytails. Him, he's been bald this entire time. Welcome back from the void. All it was was the tail hit the mouse. That's all it was. <laughs> it wasn't in any void. She hates his list. <laughs> so she hates that, like, all the songs I do. He's the main star. Although the new Chicken Wing song it just keeps getting stuck in her head. So she's heard the whole thing, obviously. Brahma, have fun. Oh, Brahma, boy, you're going to be on Loki. It's cool. At least Loki loves you. He loves you too. He's just never invited me on anything that he's done. I've invited him. I might make it the entire way with this one piece of thread. If I do, that is kind of cool and very convenient because then it's just done. I told my wife, maybe I'll get done tonight. And she's like, don't stay up too late. I said, I won't. No, it's later than I thought it was going to be by the time it was finished. I was hoping I was going to be done this by like 10 something. 10, 20, 10, 30, somewhere in that neck of the woods. So the temptation is just to rush this and not do it properly. But we are going to resist temptation and just get it done, get it done properly. Because we shall all die and sleep at some point. Amen, amen. I gotta stop myself. So close. I hope they can make it. <clears throat> uh, will Dragon be on the council tomorrow? No, the Dragon will not be on the council. Because I would need to figure out a name in the first place. And uh, I really need to figure out a personality for him. Like, I know kind of what I visualize. It's just how to get it out of myself, if that makes sense. Because, as I'm sure you guys are aware, once you do, you have like a pocket of three characters, maybe more, it's really hard to keep all those characters, their personalities, what drives them, their motivations, all that independent. It's, which is why, like you see, like with writers and movies, it's these days they suck because they can't handle more and they all just basically sound like the same person. And that's where, like, with uh, the show on Wednesdays, when that we do, you'll notice me slip into a couple moments with Floral, because like, there's like a good joke that Wilton would be all over, but Floral, he's just a, he's a bit, just a bit of a grump. He's just a good host. He knows how to ask good questions, and 
Um, basically, he's a grump, but he knows how to love people. Whereas Wilton, he just wants to be a jerk. And it's hard to even just keep those two characters separate sometimes. Because you see the they were where they would shine in that moment, and they're both obviously not available to you, so you have to work with what's in front of you. But yeah, a little uh, window into my soul. Or souls, I guess. Am I multi personality disordered? I'm so tempted to do that, but I won't. Okay, so I'm going to keep this low so that I can tie it off. And then I'm going to use the hot glue gun and I'm going to hide much of this. Oops, that went in too soon. I made it, guys. And then the way we hide the thread is we go through here and then we poke it out over here. So the thread winds up jammed in the foam somewhere. And if you pull on the needle and not on the fabric, oh, there we go. You get it. I loved Gators well, yeah, no, I thought that was actually really funny. <laughs> well, we have mind, soul, spirit, body, lots of different forms of our being. It's true. It's true. And when you're doing stuff like this, you got to tap into all of it. All right, though. Moment of truth. Mm. Oops. <laughs> Rip that. Bend that bobby pin. So now he's open our trigger going up. Well, you don't have that lifelike thing that I was looking for, but just go. my scissors. Anyway. So that's uh that's the chin. But uh, he is essentially finished. So unless I like take a moment and just li literally I'll just use glue the uh, the fabric just for the, the webbing in the mouth, he's done. So I will try to give a full view one more time. If I can get my arm out. I think I'm just all swollen up right now just from being dehydrated. Okay. There we go. The never ending story. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you can see his plate popping out there. But yeah, so that's him in a nutshell. He, uh, so the way I did it is he is totally based off of a T-Rex. As you can probably tell, he looks a lot more like a dinosaur. Put the microphone out of the way. He does look more like a dinosaur than a dragon. And part of that is because of the theory that dinosaurs in history actually are the dragons. And so, which is a credible one. Some people don't want to believe that, but it's true. And so... Yeah, so you're seeing that I gave him like the little claws on the inside of the legs there, like that. And uh, yeah, so all of the claws and stuff are all just foam clay. So it's all the same stuff that the teeth are made of, the horns, all that. It's all just foam clay. So I literally just rolled it with my fingers and uh, did that. So if you ever wanted to get my fingerprints off of something because I killed someone and you need to verify my identity, you can get it off of this. So here you are. Ken Ham approves. <laughs> yep. Alright, so there we are. 
That Ken Ham and Bill Nye debate was such a joke. It actually shocked me how little Bill Nye was prepared for that whole debate. And there was stuff that Ken Ham said that was really stupid, so it was easy to be refuted. But Bill Nye was just like, the Bible has been translated blah, 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 a lot of times, and so how do we know we have the authentic thing? It's like, that's like the dumbest argument anyone can ever make. Anyone that's done any research knows that's you don't go there. Because you will lose that one. But anyway... Bill's not a scientist. No, he's not. I think he's just an engineer, isn't he? Anyway, I'm very pleased. Is Dragon Dino married to Donkey from Shrek? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what's funny is uh, maybe that's where some of the inspiration comes from, too. Unintentionally. I love that movie. So, but yeah, I'm very pleased with how this has turned out. And so I know my so my son, he's going to be dressed up as a knight. My daughters are the princess. And uh, my wife, uh, the joke was that she's going to be dressed up as a queen or sorry, dressed up as a joke, but she's never as a joke as a horse. My wife is going to be dressed up as a horse and uh, I will be the dragon. And my son loves this thing. He thinks this is like one of the coolest things ever. So, anyway, so the dragon is essentially, minus maybe some detailing, uh, and by detailing, I just mean, like, literally drawing on it, finished. So, yeah, very pleased. It's heavier than you think it is, by the way. Perfect costumes. Yeah, I'm very excited. So, all right, folks, I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to go to bed. So thank you so much for joining. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments later or whatever. If you have any build suggestions or would like a commission done, oh, let me know. Didn't mean to miss the show. Well, you didn't, Punk Waddle. You just made it. Any relation to Puff? Um, I'm debating on... Uh, <laughs> making him really mad that puff is just such a disappointment <laughs> but i don't know either way him and puff are not gonna see eye to eye on things because he's i think gonna be more bent on like destruction and rage and and puff puff not but all right kidlets anyway thanks so much for uh watching guys keep getting those watch hours up for us because we are excited for the day when we can get monetized and do all that. Because, um, honestly, it is kind of a dream that this becomes uh, enough of a, a profitable venture for myself and Punk Waddle and Mrs. Flu. That at least for me, I can step away from having to drive a school bus and I could just do this and uh, work at the church. So, anyway, love you all. Stay out of trouble. Don't join gangs. And... Uh, have a good night. Don't let anybody take you. In the words of my daughter. <laughs>